Hi guys, this is Tanya Meadows with Apple Tree Homeschool Academy and today I want to show you how to make this puzzle or paper sorter. I use this in my daycare to stack puzzles and usually I can get a couple in between each slot. It's really simple, you just get this crate system made out of these metal um, pieces like this and they come with these little corner pieces that you put the basic box together with. I got mine at Burlington Coat Factory. You just take some zip ties, these cable ties. I got this whole set at Walmart for like 10 bucks, but you can get them at the dollar store sometime. And you just take your crate system and you Put it in and just zip tie the pieces together all the way around. You take a pair of scissors, just clip off the edge. And you can choose how far apart you want your shelves by going up one to two or more racks, more rows. And it's just as simple as that. Pull the zip tie, trim it. Now, in, on this particular one, I've already gotten started, and as you can see, I have all of the zip ties down the rows. I reinforced it in the middle at the ends, both sides of the corner, the middle, again, both sides to the back corner. So what I'll do is go ahead and put one in the back like this get a hold of that zip tie there pull it tight and just trim it And again, I'm going to take a zip tie and reinforce the middle shelf. Somehow that one didn't stay. So let's do that one again. Force it in the middle where I have the others all lined up here. It's not difficult at all. Reinforce the middle pieces on either side in the back. This is a great paper sorter for various colored paper, your construction paper, office paper, puzzles. All sorts of stuff can be stored on on these shelves. There's one thing that I do want to mention is that these little racks will have their wires on the underside like here instead of on the top and I'll show you what I mean. I'm using this piece of paper so that you can see the difference between this shelf 
and this one. And if you put your little racks to where these little metal bars are on the top, you don't have this little lip right here that's going to prevent you from sliding um, your paper or puzzles on and off the shelf. So you want to have this turned over. There we go. So we want to have this turned over to look like this where the racks, the little bars are on the top of this outside lip because otherwise this is going to prevent papers from sliding on and off. Let me see if I can use this. See as, as this has this little lip preventing this from sliding right off it has to go up over that edge. The one below it does not do that. It just slides right off. See? That's because these little bars because these little bars right here are on the top edge. So that's one suggestion I would give for you.